Happy Saturday, everybody. Another cargo trailer update. Uh, don't have a ginormous time this weekend to work on a project. So I thought something quick and easy would be uh, the uh, nickel, um, nickel flooring on the tailgate and doing the metal around it and the insulation. Uh, so the plan is to uh, take off these fasteners, these uh, all these Phillip chips. There's not too many. Measure my space in there to see if I can get a piece of one inch ISO in that gap, and then um, uh, you know reapply the uh, plywood or maybe even a brand new piece. Um, who knows? I might want to protect it a little bit from the inside. I don't know. I definitely want to do some waterproofing because every time it rains, I notice a little bit of uh, water coming down here, which looks like it's right in line with a metal gap up on that trim. So maybe there's a way I can do a little better waterproofing or put on a larger um, uh, piece of L metal. Like it's got this little tiny L metal gutter right there to prevent water from dripping down, but water still drips down. Um, uh, so I want to figure out how to stop it from coming in at all, um, and insulate and, uh, protect this floor with the rubber flooring. So step one, we'll be taking off the fasteners, measure to find out what thickness of insulation I can get in the door. And then we will run to Home Depot, grab the insulation, cut it to size. Uh, get it in there and either reapply this plywood depending on its condition once I get it off. It's only a year old um, Or possibly replacing the plywood um, And maybe even trying to find some new fasteners. I don't know if they treated this stuff or not before they put it on But um, this should be a pretty quick and easy uh, You know modification and make a little progress as you can see uh, trailers really full of stuff so I don't really want to get into anything right now because you know doing anything in there means kind of emptying it out but uh, luckily that uh, the, the ramp door is pretty accessible and uh, I don't think this will take more than a few hours and uh, I'll keep you updated so I got the first piece of plywood off and it is in fact an inch and a half thick, this door. Okay, it's an inch and a half. So I'm gonna to try to find some inch and a half insulation. And I also saw a lot of rust. So I'm gonna find some like rust treatment and a little black paint. And I'm gonna to touch this metal up before um, I put uh, the insulation in. And I'm probably gonna do a little spray foam I found some holes that the person who sold it to me hid with uh, with a different license plate cover. So it looks like there was a, one license plate cover on there, you know, license plate holder, and he covered it with a different one and just covered up the holes that were there. So that was definitely getting water, but um, definitely a lot of little rust spots. I don't want that. Um, I'm going to treat this paint this, wire brush this, uh, seal it up a lot better, and then um, figure out how to put a larger um, piece of uh, L stock or some kind of aluminum up there to prevent water from even getting down on the door um, or inside here. Um, and I'm probably gonna end up treating both sides of the wood I don't think I want to use, um, I do not think I want to use, uh, like a copper green because copper green may affect the metal in a bad way. So I'm probably just going to use like a latex paint, um, or an elastomeric paint to treat the backside of the plywood before I put it on. Then I'll put the, uh, uh front side on. Then I will, um, you know, put the uh, uh, put the rubber flooring, and then I will surround the rubber flooring with. Um, so this right here is 
I think three quarter inch. Okay. This right here is three quarter inch. So we'll probably stick with that with some three quarter inch. I might go tongue and groove um, and treat both sides and like handle this metal because that's, you know, that's not good for one year old. And one, you know, that, that, that's, that's not good. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, um, this door's important. Um, but I am surprised that it's an inch and a half thick, which is fine. We can use, we can find inch and a half, or we'll put an inch and a layer of half inch uh, foam insulation before we seal it all down. Spray foam some gaps, silicone some gaps, urethane some gaps, and um, like really make this door legit. Picture frame it in some aluminum, uh, quarter inch aluminum L stock, and um, then stop the water from coming in, and this door will be legit. I'm probably just gonna put some silicone I mean, uh, some urethane and squeeze it out the other side and then scrape it smooth. Uh, it won't leak no more. There will be some dots on that metal, but um, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, excited to make this happen. Off to Home Depot. So, starting to get dark. Lights are on. And I'm at a weird stopping point. I, uh, as seen in the pictures, Decided not to replace the plywood. I knew it was getting covered with rubber and I know it's getting wrapped uh, with aluminum. Um, aluminum angle, quarter inch. Uh, or just a quarter inch aluminum flat stock, depending on if the door will open or close with the angle. Um, I wanted to do the same thing back here Terminate the um, terminate the rubber flooring with angle, and I got one by one, and it's not gonna work. It sits a little too high. I need three quarter by three quarter, um, and this is quarter inch angle. So I thought that it was the outside dimension that was. The outside dimension I thought was the uh, one inch, and I thought the inside, since it's a quarter inch thick, would be closer to three quarters. And I was wrong because it sits it sits up a little quarter inch high. Um, so this stuff's really expensive, and I don't want to uh, Jimmy rig it. So I will. Um, tomorrow get some three quarter by three quarter. Right now I just got all this weighted down while the glue is drying. Um, but I'm either going to, uh, put like a termination bar, which is basically flat stock aluminum with holes in it, pre-drilled. Or, uh, maybe I will use some three quarter inch. It depends on if the door closes with it or not. But um, this got away from me. It's getting dark. And now my glue is drying while it's getting dark. And I don't have some material to wrap it. Um, so I might let it dry for a little while and then trim it and maybe even staple it down uh, so that I can close the door for the night. Or I don't know, but I'm going to uh, let this dry for an hour or so with all this weight on it um, and see how it sets up. And then hopefully maybe I can come out and trim it tonight and maybe staple it down and then put some uh, aluminum stock over it tomorrow. But uh, pretty much I would say it's pretty successful. The other thing is I did not have the quarter inch notched trowel for the glue so i used a roller and um i don't know if i had to do it over again i'm very impatient but um i know that when i did the floor on the inside the quarter inch trowel was massively helpful because it really does leave um a thick band around the edges uh 
and it really seemed to hold down a lot better. Um, so, still a work in progress. Uh, I'm not 100% counting on the glue to hold the rubber down. I still want to picture frame it in. Um, the inside got all kinds of uh, trim and the uh, e-track and the table mounts and a lot of other little uh, do-ads to, you know, hold it from pulling back up. But um, this door is going to need to get picture framed because it is literally just uh, rubber to the edges. And that's all I got. And the next morning, I did cut down the metal with a saw uh, and was able to picture frame everything, secure it, get the uh, tailgate rear piece back attached, and it turned out pretty good.